Hello everybody and welcome back finally to another Port of Ventura episode in the series. Episode 19 now. Finally, finally back. I know it's been a while but we won't talk about that one. Um, if you're not on our Discord, basically just to give you a little bit of an update. Um, you should join the Discord though if you're not already in it. We very much changed to an if and when basis for the series because many of us have different priorities and uh, Paul Venture is very much on the sidelines nowadays, uh, meaning that we can only like do it when we've actually got time um, and also motivation being a massive factor. Um, but yeah, it's back, uh, for me at least. Um, and. I'm finally, finally finishing the queue line, which has been about a year in the making. Um, yeah, but essentially, quite sped up this first bit, but um, it's essentially just making sure the queue matches what it does in real life, uh, aka probably the world's biggest cattle pen, because that's what Port Adventurer likes to do with their queue lines, apparently. Um, <clears throat> but you'd be surprised how long this actually took. Um, it's like all of about two minutes of footage for you lot, but it took me about two and a half hours. Uh, yeah, it's it was fiddly to say the least, and it was just trying to make sure all the key was in the right place. And you'll see in a minute when we get to the bottom, um, I took a bit of time figuring out how to get the vendor machines incorporated, which I haven't put it in. But I've made the queue go around, and um, yeah, that that took a bit of working out for me. Um, but I got there, so happy days. But yeah, I didn't really think you'd want to watch me what replacing queues for too long, so sped this bit up quite a bit. Um, but yeah, then we jump on to actually making the rules. Um, which is the back decoration inside the queue line, which is probably the only bit of theme the queue line has. Um, but this is essentially, uh, you'll see me placing plaster wall, which is a TMTK item, over some in-game bricks. Um, it basically gives like a little effect of a chipped wall, which is a really nice detail, which they also have in real life. I do believe it is part of the theming, but it will could also be Port Venture just being lazy on the maintenance front. Um, Eva is a very good possibility, so, but yeah, it has been included. So, um, this was actually alright to do. Uh, all the walls in that took me less time than the queue did, which is quite sad actually. Um, but yeah, it got done, so happy days. Um, but yeah, essentially doing the side wall at the moment and then you can see I've now started on the back wall uh, just getting the same chipped wall effect there and then you'll see in a minute uh, I hop on to actually making decorations on top because this is just the wall at the moment so just making sure the wall is matching up to what it does in real life then once that is done um, I jump on to actually decorating the wall but that didn't take too long, it's just making sure the right details are in place. Um, but yeah, that's that right wall done as well, which means I now fix a bit of queue, and then we jump on to actually uh, getting the art piece in, which you can see uh, there's like a little red square there, and then it's outlined with this blue uh, wood, and there's a little another strip on top of it using bean pieces here to put the decorations on top um, and then overlay some. Now on that red bit in real life that's like some art is probably the best way I can describe it. Um, no idea how I'm going to include that, I think it might be possible with bean pieces but it will take a while to say the least. Um, so I've left it blank for now but it is there so I'll think of something but it's like details I'll do off camera because I try to think how long it's going to take. Uh, but yeah, try to install some windows now, you can, um, which it has just magically jumped through. But you can see I've literally just uh, placed some windows. I did try and nab LBs from the station, but they didn't work, so I made my own. 
Uh, but then, yeah, we'll go on to the roof now, um, which is essentially quite a bit of math, so I'll actually try and work that out. Um, but it came out quite well in the end. Uh, I just like had to try and work out the right angles to make sure it matches what it does in real life. Then I'm just filling the back part of it in so you can't see through it. And then you'll see me flip it around at the moment to actually make it 3D rather than 2D. And then I play some planks at the top and underneath. Um, but yeah, the roof was also quite a bit of pain. Uh, but yeah, you can see me filling it in there. And then uh, popping it in. And then just duplicating it to the back. Um, and then I start on making the under bit of it. Which is like uh, the details you see from in the queue. So there's a bit of knitting in the middle that you'll see me use. Uh, and then to the side of it, it's like wood again, uh, which I've just used beam pieces to fill. Uh, thank God for beam pieces. I don't think half of this would have been possible without them because a lot of stuff in Planet Coaster is very oversized um, rather annoyingly. So we have to use a lot of TNTK. Uh, to actually get around it, but you know, happy days. And then finishing off the roof now with some more TMTK roof items. It's realistic as I can get the roof because there isn't really a similar item that I've been able to find. Um, but it does the job. But yeah, um, but believe it or not, we are already coming to the end of today's episode. It is on a bit of a short scale, but do apologise. But yeah, at least it's an episode out. But if you have enjoyed, please do feel free to like and subscribe. Uh, don't know when the next episode will be out, but hopefully there'll be a lot more this year. But yeah, I'll leave you with some ending cinematics though. Uh, but I do hope you have enjoyed today's episode. But yeah, I've been Brad, and I look forward to seeing you in the next episode. But it is goodbye from me, so I'll see you soon. Goodbye.